how to connect WhatsApp to Meta Business Suite. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how you can connect your WhatsApp number or your WhatsApp account to your Meta Business Suite. It is very easy and very simple. All you have to do is to follow up the tutorial from the beginning till the end and you will be good to go. The first thing that you need to do is to connect or sign in into your Facebook account. And as you can see, I have connected my Facebook account. If you have already a page, please access to it. If you don't, please go ahead right there and click on see more right here and see the pages. If you don't have a page already, simply click on create a new page and you are going to proceed to the creation of the page, setting the page name, the category, the bio, which is optional, and then you can design the profile page and also the banner of that page. Now, after we have created a page, you're going to select them. In my case, I have multiple pages, so I'm going to select any of these pages. Then we can proceed to the um, connection between WhatsApp and Facebook or Meta Business Suite. Now I'm going to select any page that I have, for example, this one. And now I have the options, but some of them are, uh, as you can see uh, right there, blacked out or grayed out so here all i have to do is to switch into the page account or the page profile so click on switch and in few moments you are going to click on switch again then you are going to access all of the settings now after that set you are going to visit the professional dashboard right here we are still on the facebook page but now we need to visit the meta business suit Please follow the tutorial step by step. This is a complete and detailed tutorial. If you go ahead to the Meta Business Suit right away, maybe you will be divided from the account. You're going to get not the professional account and only the particular one. So, right here within the professional dashboard, you're going to select from the platform tools Meta Business Suit. Click on it, and here we have the Meta Business Suit of our page. Right there, we're going to select the page that we need. Here I have this page, so I will let you see here the settings. Click on settings, and we are going to see if the WhatsApp is available in this page. Now I'm going to select the page again, and see. Here we have the page, uh, page face right there. So unfortunately, I don't have the access to WhatsApp. That's why I told you that you need to select carefully that page i'm going right there back and i'm going to select the page again here i have selected another page and this doesn't matter the most important part right there is to find the page that is already set up before the page or the before that page the last one was not configured correctly so we need to go to the settings within that page i will let you see right away here we have the business portfolio. As you can see, we have the business account. Now, all we have to do to set up the WhatsApp is to go right away into the accounts. Right here we have a lot of items or menus. We have pages, ad accounts, business assets, apps, commerce accounts, Instagram accounts, and finally WhatsApp accounts. Right there, what it is showing up right there, the WhatsApp and Instagram, because simply this page has a business portfolio. So the page itself is individual and not a business account. But here, this account is the, uh, as you can see, the manager of all of the pages. So if I add right here a WhatsApp account or an Instagram account or an e-commerce account, it will be added automatically to that particular page or all the pages that I have. For example, right there, you can see I have a lot of pages. And for the business portfolios, I have one. Now, we're going to select WhatsApp accounts. And from there, we are going to see here the WhatsApp accounts. I have already a WhatsApp account, but this doesn't matter. And also, it doesn't mean that we can't add another. So, all you have to do right there from this step is to click on Add. From Add here, you're going to set the country code and then the number. I will let you see here a demonstration of a fake number that I have set from the internet. So, this site is um, 
serving some fake, as you can see here, fake um, information and fake um, phone numbers that you can go ahead and test for yourself. So as you can see, I have copied. Now I will click on continue. This number is unfortunately invalid because it has written it as um, the number of uh, faking and also the setting of the testing accounts. So we need a real number to set this up. When you click on continue, you will receive a, a code within your WhatsApp notification center or your WhatsApp app. After you have set that code, you're going to see that this person or this account is connected successfully. And whenever you say, receive a message within your WhatsApp, you will receive it in this page. When you have successfully added the WhatsApp account, you need to click on it. Right there, you are going to see the summary of that account. Here we have the business information, the currency, time zone, business name, account or account status, and also the payment method. So right there, we have two options also. You can set the people or assign the people right there and set them as a permitted a people to manage this account. Also, you can add a partner. For example, in my case, I have added many chats or many chat to let me provide multiple numbers of WhatsApp to the same page and also manage them together or only one unique account. Right there, when you go back to the summary, we have the payment settings and also the WhatsApp manager. Click on WhatsApp manager and right here, we have the option to set some settings. Here we can add a number. This, this account is disabled, so I will not be able to add the number. If I want to enable it, I will go back right there and modify the, uh, as you can see right here, I can edit it and then I can set the currency, for example, and the purchase order number. You can set that and then you can enable the account easily. Right there, after you have set everything from here, you can set the partner overview, see the partner solutions, get the message templates if you want to create some messages, and then we can add some phone numbers also. That was for the adding of the WhatsApp account. And for the WhatsApp, here you can add some automated images or some automated templates and also messages. So instead, you go ahead to the Meta Business Suite you're going to the inbox and from the inbox, you're going to set automated messages right there. It will show you the WhatsApp messages going right there. So you can add or manage all the messages. You can create a uh, segmentation for the clients and also can set some automation. For example, right here, we have the button automation. You can set right here an away message. You can identify unanswered messages and etc. For example, I have activated some automation like instant reply and frequently added or asked information. As you can see, when you click on create, you have here some templates. Either you go ahead with these templates or you can go ahead from scratch. And then you're going to start the mapping of the questions and the triggers and also the action and the suggestions for that client. These messages or automations are very vital for your account. So whenever a client send a message, they will not feel abandoned or alone. They will see that you have set some automations and also you are going to join them right away or when you are available. That was all for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed the content and hope to see you soon on the next one.